Right, let's talk about protein bars and weight loss. Hey, I just got asked the question earlier if protein bars are good for weight loss. And here's the truth of the matter, man. If you're focusing on eating protein bars to, for your weight loss, you're focusing on the wrong shit, all right? You are majoring in the minors. Protein bars are a supplement. They're there to help you supplement your diet, to help you get some extra protein in. If you're not changing anything in your diet and you're still eating like an absolute prick, but you're adding in a protein bar hoping that that's going to make all the difference, you're setting yourself up for disappointment, all right? So instead of looking at protein bars, protein shakes, fat burners, like whatever the fuck it is, instead of looking at all that shit and hoping that that's going to help to change your waistline, start focusing on a few more basic, simple elements that you can do every single day and get consistent with those. That is going to help to put you on the right track instead of just focusing on eating protein bars. Protein bars can be useful. Don't get me wrong, man. I do eat them, like... This one's empty, I ate it. But like these wee things can be useful, they can help. Um, I use them because I like chocolate. So instead of eating a chocolate bar, I eat a protein bar because it then gives me 20 grams of protein. Instead of just stuffing my face with Kit Kats all day, I have one of those, gives me my chocolate fix and I get 20 grams of protein. So it helps to fill me up, all right? But when it comes to losing weight, that's not going to make the, the difference, all right? What is going to make the difference is controlling what you shove down your pie hole. All right, so instead of stuffing your face full of shite every two minutes, start looking at what you eat every single day and then controlling your intake, right? Focus on eating whole natural foods, so good quality proteins, good quality carbs, good quality fats. Make that the mainstay of your diet with room for a few treats along the way. As long as you're eating a little bit less than your body needs, you're going to create a calorie deficit, which means you're going to start to lose some weight. Then on top of that, Focus on going out for walks every day, all right? So make sure you're getting your steps in. Like they say, 10,000 is the magic number. But anyway, like if you're doing nothing right now, just going out and getting six to 8,000 steps a day or just getting a little bit more active and getting your body moving, that's going to make a massive fucking difference, right? And on top of that, if you want to get a bit more kind of serious about the exercise side of things, start adding in some weightlifting like two or three times a week. And if you hate that shit, find something that you do really enjoy doing that's going to help to kind of boost your activity levels to get you a bit more active. When you focus on that, like controlling your overall diet, getting a little bit more active and getting a little bit more exercise into your day, when you focus on those two things, the fat loss kind of takes care of itself, right? When you focus on that process. Then from there, you can add in your uh, your wee protein bars. This one was bought from Aldi. It was like £1.40. It's a chocolate mint flavour. Fucking lovely. All right, when you start then adding those things in, you can use them as a supplement to your main diet. That is where you're going to start to see real change when it comes to losing fat and losing weight. If all you're focusing on is, oh, I need to go eat this certain type of protein bar or I need to go and buy that certain type of fat loss pill or this certain type of shake because that's what's going to help me to lose weight, then you're focusing on the wrong shit. And all that's going to happen is you're going to keep on eating all that shit and nothing's going to change. Nothing's going to happen. And then you're going to just see it as another thing that you tried. Oh, well, I tried that shit and it didn't fucking work for me because you're focused on the wrong things. Focus on the basics, get those under control, so in controlling your overall intake, making sure your protein is nice and high, that's where that would come in handy, like have a protein bar to help you push your protein numbers up, so keep your protein high, control your overall calorie intake, make sure you're in a bit of a deficit, that's what's going to drive weight loss or fat loss, whatever you try to do, and then from there add in some daily exercise, going out for a bit of a walk, getting your steps in, alright, if, like, if you don't like walking by yourself, buy a fucking Doug, but they bark and piss a lot, so uh, I'll warn you that now. <laughs> All right, but get a Doug, get something to go out and that's going to help you to go out walking, but go out and get walking every single day. And then from there, add in some weightlifting, like, or go and like, take up volleyball or fucking, like, don't, don't say, like, oh, I really enjoy snooker, I'll take that up. Um, because that's not really going to do much for you. <laughs> All right, so pick, take up something that's going to get you active, that's going to get you moving, man. When you do that, that's when you're going to then put yourself on the right path. But make sure it's something that you can consistently do over time. Don't pick something you're going to do for two or three weeks and then fucking fall off track and stop doing it. Because then you're, you're going to make a wee bit of progress, you'll stall, you'll rebound, and then you'll just be back stuck at square one. So get the, get the basics under control, diet, water, like a wee bit of increasing your protein. Do that consistently. Add in a bit more walking every single day. Then do something else on top of that, like... You know, if you want to kind of take things to the next level, strength training, football training, whatever the, the fuck you want to do, whatever it is, like do that, but be consistent at it and do it for a long period of time. When you do that, that's when you're going to start to see results and you'll see results that actually last. Instead of saying, oh, well, I've seen this cool grenade bar that says fat burning, I'm going to buy that and I'm going to eat that and I'm going to lose my mantis. 
Uh, you're just waste like great for a start grenade bars are like fucking three pound a pop what the fuck all right like doing all like buying that shit in the hope that it's going to make a difference you're farting against thunder all right that's like trying to put out snowballs but uh, snowballs 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 Blah. that's like trying to put out house fires by pissing on them or throwing snowballs at them that's where I was going with that <laughs> but anyway listen man i hope that like made some kind of sense for you um you know, if you have tried the whole kind of fucking protein bar thing to try and make some success and you're stuck and you've like just gone around in circles and not got anywhere, like, I hear you, man. I've been there, done it. Um, but it, pff, you, you just need to not focus on that shit, right? Focus on the right things and that's going to get you to where you want to be. And so listen, man, if you found this useful in any way, shape or form, make sure you click the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications so you can see more and you can see when my videos come out. All right, I've still not got that part down yet. I don't really know what to say. I'm new to this YouTube shit, but... Hey, well, fuck it. Subscribe, hit notifications, like it, comment, do all that good shit. See you in the next one.